Hey guys, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and today I want to show you three different ways that you can add extra glow to the skin of your subject inside of Photoshop. Now, before I get started, I always love to connect with you guys. So if you're watching, leave me a quick comment below and just say hi or hey, and let me know what is your favorite type of photography to shoot. I always love connecting. I love knowing what you're creating, doing, and shooting. So leave me a quick comment below and let me know you're here. All right, let's learn three different ways that we can create that extra glow to our portraits in Photoshop. All right, we're gonna come down to the bottom right-hand side and create a new levels adjustment layer. We can do that by clicking on this half black, half white circle right here and selecting levels. Now from there, we're going to make sure that this levels adjustment layer is highlighted and we're going to look directly above that and you're going to see a black triangle, a gray triangle and a white triangle. Grab this white one right here and we're gonna drag it slightly to the left. You'll notice that the whole image gets an extra glow when we do that. Now, we don't want that, we want it just on the skin. So what we're going to do is invert that levels layer. We're going to come down here, make sure that the, the layer mask is selected, and we're gonna hit Control or Command I. That inverts that layer mask. Now, if I'm losing you right now and you're like, okay, I'm, I'm lost when you're talking about layers and layer mask, I'm going to link to a tutorial in the description below that talks about layers and layer masks. So if you're a little bit confused at that point, watch that tutorial and that will help all of this to make better sense. All right, now that we have inverted that levels layer, what we are going to do is we're going to grab a brush, make sure it is white, and we're just going to brush directly on our subject's skin, creating that extra bit of glow. Now, you'll notice that when I'm doing this, it looks a little bit too bright and glowy here, but that's an easy fix. All you have to do is come over to this opacity that's right here, and we're going to bring that down. So let's just drop that opacity. Maybe on this one, it's about 50% looks good. And there you can see, let's turn it off and back on. Now, I know that every person is different and every skin tone is different, so there is not a magic number or a magic opacity percent to set any of these techniques to. So any way to add in that extra glow to the skin is going to be dependent on your subject and dependent on your photo and the look that you want. So with each of these techniques, you'll have to play around and, to, and just see what look you like the best in your photo. All right, second one. And let's just turn this first levels layer off so we can see the second technique. I'm going to again create a new adjustment layer. This time I'm going to select curves. Now this technique gives a little more subtle glow to the skin. The final one and the one I'm gonna show you next probably gives the most dramatic results and is kind of the most fun, but right now let's go a little bit less intense. All right, with the curves layer selected, I'm going to grab the middle of this curves line here, and we're going to drag it up just slightly. So I'm just gonna bring this up to a point where I think it looks very glowing. And again, that, that's creating a glow over the whole image. We just wanna focus on the skin here. So we're going to hit Command or Control I again, and that inverts that layer mask. And you'll see that that layer mask now turned black. So again, let's grab this soft white brush and we're going to brush on to the skin of our subject. And that's gonna create a beautiful glow. And again, there is no magic number or no magic height of that curve to lift that up. It's going to be dependent on your photo. And you can see there it is off and on, creating that little bit of extra glow. All right, let's turn that off and I'm going to go to the final way to create glow. And this is probably the most dramatic, but like I said, it's fun, fun to play around with. We're going to create a new adjustment layer. So let's come back down to the half black, half white circle. This time we're gonna choose color lookup. 
Now you'll see a new properties menu pop up above that adjustment layer. And there's three little buttons here. The first one that says 3D LUT file is probably selected. If it's not, just click that right there. And then you're going to drop down from that menu there and you're going to select the one that says Edgy Amber. Now, when you do that, it creates a very orange glow over the whole image. And that's not what we want. Again, we want just the skin. Now, you could go to your blending mode and you could go through and take a look at some of the different ways that Edgy Amber falls over the skin. I tend to like overlay or soft light. This one, I think I'm going to click soft light. So I'm going to select that one there. And again, I don't want it over the whole image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Command or Control I to invert. And then we're going to paint onto our skin using that soft white brush. So again, on that layer mask, are you noticing a pattern here? And grabbing my brush that is white, I'm going to brush right over the skin of my image. Now I'm doing this pretty quickly. You're going to want to make sure you're adjusting the size of your brush so that you can get in uh, closer to some of the more detailed areas. But I'm going fast just for time right here, brushing that on. You'll notice it does look like right now, like she's got a lot of self tanner on, right? We want to lower that opacity again. So once you have it brushed on, go back over to that opacity and we're just going to drop that down. This one you'll probably drop down even lower than some of the other ones to make it look a little more natural. But again, it's up to you. It's up to the subject and the look that you want. I'm going to go right around 30 for this one. And let's take a look off and on. And that gave a very nice, subtle glow to the skin. And what's cool about these three techniques is that you can stack them together. You could use one, two, or all three together. So let's use that color look up and maybe curves too and see the difference, see the glow that we get. You can adjust the opacity of any of these so it works for you. All right, you guys, I hope you learned something today. If you did, tell me, say yes down in the comment below. And I would love to see your results too. So if you guys are over on Instagram, I'm over there all the time too. Post a picture, make sure to tag me in it. My handle on Instagram is at Cozy Clicks so that I can check out what you are creating. I love to share everyone's work over in my stories too and just see what we're all doing and coming up with. All right, you guys, I will be back again with more tutorials. So if there's something you want to see, leave me a comment below and let me know. But until then, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys soon.